I've got to get my ass to Elon's crib in New Jersey. The rocket leaves today and he said he would wait for me. That fuck twit better not leave without me. I got one thing going for me. This day can't get any worse. Yes, Ramina, my love, we have successfully used Donald Trump to destroy planet Earth, and now we are on the way to planet Mars with some very precious cargo. What these mega ladies don't understand, however, is that I've told each of them that they will be the reigning queen of the red planet, when in fact you will be my queen, and these mega hoe bags will be used exclusively for breeding purposes. <laughs> Hey kids, I'm back. Old man catch in the house. Oh, my heating pad's in the shot. That makes me seem even more old. Get that out of there. Well, I've been waiting to make this video all day because workers are blazing the lawns and the bushes of my neighbors, so it's been very loud around here. But I think they are on break. I um, just showed the opening sequence to my new series, Project 2025, The Series. And it's been a lot of fun. I have about 20-something minutes of this thing built already. And I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go because it's really rated R. And I didn't show you any of the rated R stuff in the in the front section there. But there are several rated R scenes with very salty language and also nudity, both male and female, because another name for this could be Free Speech, the movie, because I'm going to be pushing the limits. So I'm not sure where this is going to end up. I might crowdfund it for a movie because I could probably knock out about 90 minutes if I can get a good story together, which I think I can knock out 90 minutes in probably three or four months. So not bad. So maybe I'll crowdfund a movie. I'm not making any money on YouTube anymore. Not enough to stay on YouTube without other sources of income, that is. So yeah, a movie might be a good idea. Here's another scene. This is um, Elon and his beloved Ramina. Uh, doing a little video for social media back on Earth. Greetings, people of Earth. For those of you still alive and posting on X, please upload more funny cat videos. Space can be boring sometimes, and I love seeing all your cute kitties. Okay, take care and remember the first sign of radiation sickness is nausea and vomiting. Bye for now. Enjoy the apocalypse. Not bad, sir, but let's try another one. Perhaps a little lighter in tone, you know, less death and vomiting. Really, Romina? That wasn't good enough. I'm flipping exhausted. Yes, sir, I understand, sir. You work so hard, but remember the people of Earth have just experienced nearly total annihilation. Perhaps some rainbows and lollipops are in order? Rainbows and lollipops, what does that even mean? Just a metaphor, sir. You know, for happy things, better times, good vibes, and all that shit. Okay, whatever. Jesus being the evil overlord of the universe is so time-consuming. Roll camera. That's the spirit, sir. Camera rolling. Hey there, people of Earth. If you're watching this, you're alive. So, um, like, congrats and stuff. I know you're probably busy scavenging for food and pooping blood, but try to try to take some time for yourself, you know, look at the pretty sky colors and, and eat some candy. You might be dead soon, so, yeah. <laughs> you totally fucking nailed it, sir. So... This show, as you might have surmised, is about Elon, who has decided he is the evil overlord of the universe, and he has used Trump to destroy the Earth as much as he possibly can, and abscond to Mars with all the hot MAGA ladies. But the problem for Elon is there are some stowaways on Starship Ramex. 
and fun will ensue. Meanwhile, we'll be with Trump on Earth as he experiences what it's like to live in the apocalypse that he created. And there are lots of fun characters on Earth as well as on the starship headed to Mars. And come on in. It's my daughter. Hey, daughter. How you doing? Are you recording? Yeah, come on in. I'm making a show. People can see me? <laughs> they can't see you now. Okay, good. Now they can. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. Wait, is it a video? This is a video, but I'm not live or anything. I'm just making a video. But here, I'll, I'll pause it. A few moments later. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And so this show might end up on Patreon in its unrated form, and then also on YouTube as the censored version. So I'm working all that out. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be, I'm going to keep cranking out the, the minutes on this thing, as well as working on standard YouTube content, Trump shows and music videos and stuff, trying to do it all. But um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with one final scene from this thing. And yeah, keep the buzz alive for Project 2025. Space has a new sheriff. Her name is Space Karen. And yeah, it's been fun making it. And I hope you enjoy watching it. And I hope you look for it down the pike as it comes together. All right, last scene, and stay tuned. I think Matt Getz is going to be um, doing a cameo thing tomorrow. And so look for me back on tomorrow, and I'll be going live more now that I have a real microphone. Thank you, Sure, for the amazing M7 microphone, even though I paid for it. Um, if you want to send me some other stuff for free, I'm down with that. All right, bye. This is so goddamn cool. I went from being the queen of President Trump's harem to soon to be the queen of fucking Mars. Not bad for a little girl from New Jersey with Arabian princess good looks and a stellar rack. I'm going to be the best queen Mars ever had, for reals, bro. Oh, damn it, I forgot to ask Elon if they had a red robin up there, shit. OMG, I'm so happy that Elon is making me the queen of Mars. I just hope my clone, Ivanka Nita, the flatulent one, doesn't fuck everything up. Although I am the happy that Elon make me Mars Queen, the first time hope that he don't try to touch me in sexy place because then I will vomit. I am so thrilled that Elon in his ultimate wisdom has invited me to be the Queen of Mars. So fun. I will be a terrific queen, a strong yet gentle queen. I'm looking forward to the perks too. For starters, my hand picked Queen's Court. Oh yes, it's going to be wall to wall stud muffins on call to cater to my every whim. Ooh, daddy, I'm getting moist just thinking about it. Gone.